take one knitting needle. Okay, you're gonna take your wool, and you are going to. Yes, you have to have an end, and you're going to make a knot in it. Just a normal knot. Okay. Um, depending on how big your needle is, is going to depend on how big you want this first loop to be. Okay, so put it on your needle. And then make it so that it's just a little bit bigger than the needle. So I make a loop, I put it on my needle, and I tie a knot. Now I have a loop on my needle. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your wool and you're going to put it over your hand like this, just over these two baby fingers. Hold on to the wool with those two fingers. Take this, cross it over your palm. Go around your thumb and cross. Put the needle through the space, slide off. Okay? From here, this is what you're going to keep doing. You take, everybody look. Everybody look. You're holding on to this. You can pull through it. It goes to the bottom part of your palm, around your thumb, and crosses over. You put the needle through the hole along your thumb, and you pull your thumb out. And you want to keep this loose not too tight because you're going to have to get another needle in there. So everybody keep watching. Okay, do this with me. Hold down. Everybody got your down? Around your thumb. Yep. Through the hole. And off. But then it's like, now you have two, and then you take your thumb out. Okay? So you're going across and around, through. You just keep doing that. You're going to do it until you've got about 20 um, uh, stitches on your needle. So I've got five. One, two, three, four, five. You want to get 20. So it's down, across, through, off. Down, across, through, off. Down, across, through, off. Again, make sure that you're leaving some space, which I haven't been. Yeah, I haven't been leaving a lot of space either. I don't like any space. I haven't left any space. Do it with me. Down. Okay. No, you need to fit another. Other hand. Wait, what? You're holding it with your left hand. Once you have your um, stitches on your needle, you start using two needles. Okay? The needle with the stitches on it goes into your left hand. The needle that you're going to transfer the stitches on goes into your right hand. Don't do anything, just watch. I'm watching you. You're not even looking at me. Okay? So you're going to take this needle, you're going to put it under and to the back. Okay, so it goes from front, don't do it, just watch. From front to back, you hold both needles with this hand, you take this thread that's attached to your wool, it goes around the bottom, then you're going to slide back through. Notice how there's the thread right there that I had just put over this needle. That becomes a new stitch on my new needle. And then I take this off. Okay? So, watch again. Front to back. 
around. This part that went around comes back through. Oh. And then I take that thread off. Stop. Stop and watch. Watch. Front to back. What do I do next? Around and then bring it back and off. Okay. Front to back. So here is my front to back. Front to back. Okay. Now I'm turning it up so that you can see the underside of it. Here is the thread that I have that's attached to my wool. This bottom needle, the one that I just put through, it's going to come around it like that. And then I am going to take this needle through. I'm going to keep this thread, this thread that just went around it on that needle and I bring it back through here and then I take this stitch which is the one that was originally on it off the other and that's my first stitch okay